getting ready for Christmas. This year, you'll notice if you look at all of the trees at any point uh, by going to the YouTube channel, you'll notice I've elevated everything. An elevated tree makes it easy to clean under during the holiday season, needles, etc., and uh, things like that. So I am going with elevation. I also am trying to naturally tuck in the trees into spaces because I am having a, a pretty good sized group of people with some kids. So I, I do want them maybe a little more out of the way this year. You'll notice this tree I have not decorated it yet. I don't really have a concept. I don't usually have a concept until after I have fluffed it out and have it in its place. But I'm not a big fan of those storage bags. Uh, I don't hate them, but I, I am not a fan. What I do at the end of the year is I pull every branch up and wrap it. I wrap it with just cheap ribbon uh, that I happen to have, uh, but you can do it in rope or twine or whatever, but it it's, keeps the branches stable so that you're not bending or stretching the pre-lit wires uh, that, that cause lights to go out. That's the most common thing that causes your lights to go out or you stretch a wire, you break a connection and you may not get electrocuted, but that's trying to lights will stop working. So I've just, I fold it down, fluff it out. I'll cut this and go on up to the top, but this is just, this is how I store things. And just like that, the tree is decorated. Well, not quite that easy, but Terry sure does make it look easy. He's used cranberries and cardinals for this concept this year, and it looks beautiful in his sitting room. He's pulled it all together with a bowl of pomegranates, a nutcracker, and some garland on the mantle. You'll find little birds and nests, and even a birdhouse stuffed into the tree. We hope you've enjoyed this episode, and Terry's on to his next project, so we'll be posting more soon. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.